Have you ever uh, participated in a national government public participation forum on the budget before? Yes, only once. No? All right. satisfied okay there's health roads and infrastructure mm -hmm. tourism education foreign affairs and international trade information and communication security mm -hmm. water agriculture and evolution uh, one is roads and infrastructure two is tourism Three is water, four is health, five is education, six is foreign affairs, seven is security, eight is youth and gender, nine is information and communication, ten is agriculture and fisheries. We need to increase the budget of security. What did you increase it to? From 10% to 20%. To 20%. Uh -huh. What did you give the rest? The other one I give uh, health 20%. All right. Because as we know, even health has been devolved. Yeah. But there are so many issues which are underlying. Okay. Foreign affairs, I give 5%. Okay. Tourism, I give it 5%. Mm -hmm. Gender, I give it 10%. Mm -hmm. Information and communication, I give it 5%. Mm -hmm. Water, I give it 10%. Mm -hmm. Roads and infrastructure, I give it 10%. Mm -hmm. Education, I give it 10%. Mm -hmm. Agriculture, I give it 5%. All right. Okay, for health, I'll give it 15%. Mm -hmm. Roads, 10%. Mm -hmm. Tourism, 5%. Education 10, Foreign Affairs 10, Security 15, Water 10, Revolution 10, Information 5, Agriculture 10. Okay, personally I'll say that uh, we really need uh, um, information to be passed right. mm -hmm. about the budget of the country right. and if it's possible there should be a public participation before the budget is passed on mm -hmm. since we don't know which uh, approach or procedure they use so that they can set the budget all we know is that uh, we have a budget reading mm -hmm. we don't know which approach they really use i want to rely with the national government yeah. like the policy documents uh -huh. and the budget, and the budget uh -huh. so that uh, when the government allocates, mm. even as we have an input All right. of giving those views. The forum Ambayo Tuko Nayo Leo is one of those forums that we are having around the country, Kuangalia. JNVP tunaweza kuimprove public participation going forward. Kuangalia, je kuna mambo fulani fulani tukibadilisha kwa vile tunafanya public participation saa hizi itafanya public participation in future ikuwe nzuri zaidi. Vile nimesema ikuwe na umuhimu kwa wananchi na pia ikuwe na umuhimu kwa serikali. Kwa sababu wakati public participation ni vizuri na yale matakwa wananchi wako nayo inaonekana vizuri then pia ni rahisi kwa serikali kujua ni nini wananchi wanataka. Na ni muhimu pia wakati serikali inatengeneza budget, ijue, yes, sisi kama serikali tuko na agenda yetu, lakini pia wananchi kuna yale mambo ambayo wanataka. Kwa hivyo leo tuta concentrate na ile mambo ambayo national government inafanya, na ile public participation kubwa kwa national government inafanyika wakati gani. Kuna mtu yote hapa ashayu kaa kwa public participation ya national budget. Mkono kama ushayu participate ya national, ya county, Unaona kwa hivyo lazima tuangalie pia national government nini inafanyika huko. Kwa hivyo ile information ambayo tuko nayo hapa ndio tutatumia leo kujifunza national government public participation yake inafanyika wakati gani, wanaifanya namna gani na ndio sisi kama wananchi pia tujue kama tunataka kuparticipate ni vipi tutaingia katika hiyo process. Kwa national government wakati inafika mwezi wa pili sasa hiyo ndio decision kubwa sana ambayo inahusika ina na public participation huwa inafanyika. 
mwezi wa pili kifika katikati kuna document na nataka hii muandike chini mahali kuna document inaitwa budget policy statement ndio ile document ambayo serikali hiyo inatumia kugawanya pesa katikati ya sekta zile ambazo tuko nazo katika national government na hizo sekta huwa sekta kumi. hizi sekta kumi ndio serikali huwa ikianza kutengeneza budget inajiuliza je kwa ile shilingi mia moja tuko nayo tutagawanya aje katika hizi sekati ya hizi sekta kumi. sawa sawa that is the biggest decision we have to make every year what is our total budget and how much money do we give to each sector na wananchi wanahusishwa kivipi katika hii process kwa kabla hiyo budget policy statement iende kwa uh, kwa national assembly katikati ya mwezi wa pili wakati inatengenezwa kuna kuanga na vitu zinaitwa sector working groups ama group ambazo zina husika kutengeneza zile plans za sectors na nataka tuelewane hapa kuanzia mwezi wa tisa of the previous year where are we right now we are in 2017 si ndio in may when it gets to september of this year the sector working groups za hizi sekta zote zinatengenezwa by the ministry of planning and the ministry of finance they start having the discussions katikati ya ministries na pia na wananchi na pia donors na wale NGOs ambao wanahusika wata discuss september october november wa malize ikifika february then we make the final decisions on how much money shall we give to each of these sectors so today the big discussion we will be having leo ni how do we arrive at how much money should be given to each of these sectors what i want to talk about is your philosophy wewe kama eh, mkenya sisi kama wa kenya government yetu inafaa fikiria aje kuhusu development si ndio tunataka kusonga mbele si ndio na kuna namna tofauti tofauti ambazo tunaweza tumia kusonga mbele wengine wanaamini tukiendeleza uh, sekta zingine tutaenda mbele zaidi kushinda sekta zingine okay so i'm just going to give um, Four examples of how you can think of distributing money and this is not everything but it's just to start uh, telling us that start to start, uh, for us to be aware that um, when we are distributing resources we must consciously um, think about our strategy our development strategy which way do we go and how do we make that decision remember hapo kwa sector challenges tulikuwa tunashinda tunasema kila sekta inataka kufanya vitu nyingi lakini pesa sio nyingi pesa haiwezi tosha tufanye kila kitu ya sekta si ndio na pesa haiwezi tosha tufanye kila kitu ya energy ya health ya education we have to make a decision hizo ndio vitu tunaita trade offs sio nani akona na card number 9 what does that say card says our approach to development trade offs okay that's exactly what we want to learn now how do we approach Um, sector uh, allocation of resources with regards to our development strategies okay what do we focus how can we think about it number one, tunazamua tuendeleze um, human human capital or uh, infrastructure what we are calling capital from page 19 we are talking about human versus physical capital okay and when we talk about physical capital what are we talking about infrastructure okay already you're starting to to draw what sectors we are talking about when you talk about human capital which sector will that be human capital which sector develops human beings education, education. Uh -huh. what else health. health you can say health is improving uh, human capital but mostly it's education isn't it and then when you talk about physical capital what are you talking about infrastructure okay so here is the trade off we have to make this year and in the medium term the following years what do we want to develop more how much how much um, how much more should we give to these uh, sectors that develop the human and how much more should we uh, give to these sectors that develop infrastructure bridges roads and such things the other thing we want to talk about is uh, supporting investment versus active industrial policy the government has to make a decision 
this year and the few years that are coming, how do we develop our country? Do we as the government take part in business? Or the government may decide, as opposed to taking part in business itself, we want to create an environment where business can take place. Hi, Nani Akona 9.3? Uh -huh. Debt versus services. Debt versus services. Um, for debt, I want everyone to understand. When donors are giving us money, they don't give us money for recurrent expenditure. Most of the time, our services are paid by our own taxes. So the government will collect money through taxes and use it for services. Kwa sabi services, ni mtu wanapatia na kama mwalimu, kama daktari, services. Sindio? Mara nyingi tukipata madeni ni ya infrastructure. For example, gani nye sayi inasikika sana ya deni SGR. SGR tumepata deni kutoka wapi? China. Haya. Sasa tunezamua, tunataka kufanya hizo vitu za infrastructure. Inamanisha kuwa kwa sababu atuna hizo pesa nyingi, tutachukua madeni. Sindio? Kwa sababu tunaona tukikuwa na SGR, Love that to song mbele zaidi. 9.4. When we talk about physical security, we are talking about actual physical security. Yani wewe kama mtu, ndio usibiwe, ndio vitu zako zishukuliwe. That is physical security. And who does that? The police or KDF, isn't it? So in the police, we said wako wapi? Governance, justice, law and order. Then there is social security. Okay? That one is... Uh, let's have people who are educated, people who can earn. Let's support them in business so that they have an income, okay? So they feel that they are social, socially secure, isn't it? Things like NSSF, things like NHIF, that, for example, that ensure that older people have some income, that ensures social security. Do we get the difference? Okay. Now this is how it applies to sectors. The government, with our help in public participation, in public deliberation has to decide where do we put most of our money? Do we put most of our money to protect physical security or is it to ensure social security? Think about it this way. If people are not poor, if people don't feel discriminated, then they're most <laughs> likely not to be thieves, they're most likely not to be terrorists, they're most likely not to come and destroy your property, isn't it? When people have jobs, when people feel like they can economically um, support their lives, they will not have the thought of, let me join Al-Shabaab, okay? So if you ensure social security, someone can argue, then you might not need much for physical security, isn't it? To keep on your kazi, eh? Awata patikana na al-shabab, iwachukue wa wende wafanye terrorism. Sindio? Ibu basi ya tuanid pesa minji kwa KDF. I need to make a number of groups. And this is what I am going to do. Number one, I want to have a group that will have women only. As I told you, one of the things that we are doing na easy forums, ni kutest. Ukibadilisha mambo fulani fulani ya vile tunafanya public participation. Will the public participation be better? Sawa, sawa. So one of the things that we want to test, ni ukiweka group ya kinamama kwa moja, discussion hapo itakuwa mzuri zaidi, ama itakuwa mbaya zaidi, yo tutajua leo. Sawa, sawa. So I first want to have a group that will have women only. Kwanza na health, eh? That uh, health sector consists of the Ministry of Health and several semi-autonomous agencies. NHIF, NHIF is under health sector. How does it work? Because I understand that NHIF is what we need. NHIF covered. Yeah. It was advanced. If you've been there, it was it was really advanced. In such a case that now it covers. Yeah. Even for surgeries, it does cover for surgeries, mm -hmm. of which uh, uh, in the past it never used to cover. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's of help. My question is, why is it under the health sector and yet it is the individual contributing to this scheme? That is what is surprising me. One, what about NHIF? National referral and specialized services. 
What is their objective? To improve provision of quality specialized healthcare services. Naikapata 24 billion. That is 39 percent of the of the sector budget in the in, the, in this current financial yeah. year. This is a a bunch of money. I pesa ni mingi. What do we say about it? Do we know this is specialized healthcare services? Tunataka kujua those hospitals that is taking almost 40 percent of the sector budget ni ni services gani wana offer? Sindio. Then what are the procedure to say me? A mother in Isiolo. At a procedure again in the Tatumi and Afikia Hapon, a part of that government services. A second day, general administration, planning, and support services. Senior. So, to strengthen leadership, management, and administration of the health sector, that sector, and also say, Mechukua, 15 billion. You see, Mingi? No, you see, administration, that is where you get the salaries, promotions, and everything. Yes, yes. A doctor, you want to leave 15% of the county's allocation. So, where is this 15 billion going? And are we feeling as solo people? As a county? Double, Andika, Andika. Energy infrastructure and ICT, page 36. The sector consists of nine MDS. Below is a table showing the MDS in the program and the program in each, together with recent allocation to MDS, 20, the, finance, the current financial year that is. The sector is responsible for ensuring the country has efficient, affordable, and reliable infrastructure for sustainable economic growth. To corner general administration, planning, and support services, and by Ilipata 1 billion, rail transport Ilipata 157 billion, marine transport Ilipata 17 billion, air transport Ilipata 7, and road safety Ilipata 1. And that is 34% of the, of the sector budget. A State Department of Infrastructure, Road Transport, 177 billion. A State Department of Energy, General Administration and Planning, that is 0 0.5 million, 500 million. Power Generation, 22 billion. Power Transmission and Distribution, 93 billion. Uh, alternative energy technologies, one billion. State Department of Housing and Urban Development, Housing Development and Human Settlement, eight billion. Urban and Metropolitan Development, twelve billion. He, 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 Housing Development and Human Settlement, Nigani. Housing development. And human settlement. Human settlement. Housing development in the Kamasasa The quarters. The quarters. How they are being. In a jungle. Guess what? The human settlement in the Kamabida to Najanga Uko Madare. What one answer to pay for you? Oh. State Department of Petroleum Exploration. And distribution of oil and gas is three, four million. Ioni ya ili ya Turkana, Mafuta. Ioni sawa. State Department of Public Works. Tume kuja kwako. Gadoni. Enda enda chini ya petroleum. Government building two billion. Coastline infrastructure and pedestrian access. So una recommend yo yongezwe. Public administration. So, what you What surprised you? What surprised you? Why NYS and this thing? I think that's the most uh, surprising. Yeah. NYS, yeah? Yes. NYS. What surprised me in this eh, mm. is how global eh, one for health programs were put under. This is instead of Ministry of Health. Yes. That's a global fund health program. And the equalization. equalization is not there. It's not there. Yes. Yeah. So no, how the come global the Nini, the global uh, fund for health, but in a Kujia, through office of the president, instead of coming through Ministry of Health.
I think me and uh, agree na uh, brother mesema youth ile uh, mabaya youth how youth uh, the development of youth comes under this uh, uh, the economic uh, yeah. development so what i mean yeah state of power Department of Revolution. Oh, mm. What is the least important about this sector? The least important. Delays. Delays in determining in, in determining in determining disciplinary cases. Disciplinary Disciplinary cases by law courts. By law courts. That's under public service commission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Is this sector doing well? Is this sector doing well? Is this sector doing well? Yeah, you can say yes because there is an oversight office under this department. No, they are, they are working. Eh? They are working. Mm. Mm. So, so, where is this sector doing badly? Where is this sector doing badly? There, there is delay. There is delay in administration of justice. So what I want us to do now is to get into groups where we will discuss all the ten sectors. Saimu luko muna zungumzia tu sekta enyu mbili, sindio? Sana taka mungie kwa group ambapo saa sekta hizo zote kumi zitakuwa discussed. Sasa tutaanza na sector by agriculture rural and urban development. The sector has been has low funding. The sector has low funding. Yes, it has low funding. Let's go to the next sector. Hello, Kwanza. What about health? Health. Abana. Health. It could evolve 80% to 90% to go. Yes, the health mingi iko kwa county government. So vile baje tunafanya ni national government. Lazima uko iwe kidogo. Ah, so energy. 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 Yes. Energy. Yes. Energy. 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 Energy infrastructure and ICT. Unajua kama saa hizi ile income nyingi inatoka kwa barabara kwa sababu gari zikitumia mafuta zinakuwa zinalipa tax. Haya hizi unajua ile tax revenue nyingi inatoka kwa mafuta which means barabara zikikuwa nyingi revenue itaongezeka. So it's very easy. Okay, wacha tuulizane. Wacha tuulizane. Wacha tuulizane. Okay, katika ena jesaza katika diyo mwanasema inabeba barabara na huwateba na nini. Hizo vitu wapaya serikali imefanya kwetu sisi hapa. Imetufaidi, hiko na faida kubwa tulinganiche sasa na sehemu ingine. Because kuna kitu huya mesema. Hii budget nasakua ikubwa kwa sobu ya ya hile reru. Kwetu sisi, hiyo kitu, hiko na faida kwetu. Hiyo, hiko na faida kwetu. Tukiliganiche na hile faida, hiko the other side. Ndiyo tuona tusikuje kusema tuwaweke, lakini iwe zaidi itasaidia the other side. Haya, tati tuweke tati. Pasenti tiyake ni ngabi? Tati tati tuwebele kwenzi ziyo? Kwa hapiana vertiyo. Kwa hapiana vertiyo. Kwa hapiana vertiyo. Kwa hapiana vertiyo. 
Hata mimi nakubaliana nakubaliana huyu kwa sababu agriculture hapa ile tutatumia ni irrigation. So inataka pesa mingi zaidi. So tukirudisha chini because tutatoa maji wapi ya kulima na mvua itoshi. So agriculture lazima iwe very high na budget kubwa. Kapeana because there are some money given to the county government. Mm -hmm. That's why we could do mm -hmm. what I can use the lowest. Mm -hmm. So come on, we're going to 26, 17, 3%. We're going to 10%. It's okay. It's a big money. 10 is our 10. Work at 10. Education. 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 Lakini members mujue ya kwamba tayari kwa ile tatu tumefika tuko na offer 55%. Sawa tunabakisha 45%. General economic Environment, <laughs> 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 Six. Yeah. 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 Governance 10. Governance 10. Health 3. Health 3. National security. National security 8. National security 8. Public administration 15. 15. Social protection 6. Education. Education. It is going to be on that. 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 If we stick by what the government has been doing, we at Atasis to take like to make the So we need to like uh, work at you, especially CC as a lady. Two hundred eighteen. Two hundred eighteen. So. Why do we feel as is your account? Why do you? Why do we feel like we need fifteen mm. rather than the government? Uh, what was the government? Seven percent of the government. What it is because for one, 
as we want like uh, more, more improve, a lot of improvement in our schools. Mm -hmm. Let's go to energy. Yeah. On energy, there's a lot of corruption. It is benefiting some few. Because mm -hmm. at the transformers in Guinea, they are better outdated. So let us reduce the Hizi ndiyo zile allocations zimetoka kwa group zote. And as you can see kuna tofauti tofauti mali wengine wengine watu wanasikizana. The thing is at the end of all this process we just need one. And so we are going to do that together. Kitu muhimu yenye lazima tukumbuke ni at this hizi hizi tofauti mnaona hapa ni kitu ya kawaida. Okay? Anytime you have public participation people will have different views. The question is how do you arrive at the final decision? Tutafanya consensus, consensus ni ile kuelewana. Election ile mnasema tunaangalia education tunaona kuna tofauti wangapi wanasema 25 watu wanainua mkono wangapi wanasema 20 watu wanainua mikono ile mingi inashi inashinda hiyo ni election ya tatu kuna zingine hata mathematics watu wanasema tufanye average atuelewani hapa eh haya basi fanya average hapa mwisho hiyo ndiyo tumesikizana ni hiyo 
So how do we make this decision? I'm leaving this to you. It's not up to me. It's for you to agree. Let's go one by one. Eh? Uh -huh. Let's say education. Uh -huh. Group one, I'm going to say 25. Uh -huh. Group two, I'm going to say 20. Uh -huh. Group three, I'm going to say 20. And group four, I'm going to say 20. Go by 20. If you go <laughs> by the average, because that is 85. 85 divided by 4 is about uh, 21. So, like a 21 now. Aha, uh -huh. so we want to say the mathematical. Mathematical. Aha. Anyone with a different point, he's made his, he's made his suggestion very clear. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. Kobe. I'm saying uh, where the figures are close, uh -huh. we, can, we can do mathematics. Okay. But where there is a big disagreement, a yeah. big difference, yeah. we can discuss to see why these people are saying this and why these ones are saying this. I like that. Do you agree with that? Yeah. So let's start at the top. All right. So this is how your allocation looks like. As you can see, you are over the budget by 7 percentage points. So the question is, where do you want to make cuts? You start with the health. You start with health. How much do you want to cut from health? By half. The suggestion is to cut from health. Health has eight. Munataka kukata hapa nangapi? By half. By half. Three. Are you cutting by half or are you taking it to three? Minus five. I need to hear from group three and group four. Do you think we should make cuts to health? So how okay so where do you want where do you think you can make you don't have to make the whole cut from one sector Yes Let from education reduce to 23 in agreement Okay Are you in agreement Yes Okay wacha mimi sasa itabidi ni type mimi mwenyewe We have reduced education from 25 to 23 so where else do you think you are going to make cuts? And remember, these cuts have to be calculated because remember the reasons you gave. Governance? Uh -huh. It's actually three. The ten, oh, sorry. Yeah, yes. You, you can remove two from here. Is everyone in agreement with that? So governance, we reduce it by two. So is there any other place where you feel them? Public administration. Four more. Public administration. Four more. Three. They are suggesting public administration. It will have a bill. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. So you one from agriculture. Because the budget is actually going up by a lot. Yes. Is everyone okay with that? I have one agriculture. Public administration. One. Is that okay? Public administration. I am okay. What we need is general economic and commercial affairs. Uh -huh. Let us give. This one from there, so it becomes. Okay, so you're in agreement with that one because it was his suggestion. Alright, so we are at 100%. Now I want you to look at this. But this is the final one and at the end, at the end we've also written the main winning points that pushed the discussion to one side or the other. <laughs>